Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I got uh, several questions about drivers and the update. Um, you know, how how often do we update drivers, or should we update drivers, and so on. And this is a, a tough question. I'm going to answer it uh, first because a couple of questions were on the side of gamers. So, of course, that follows the uh, famous update we talked about um the uh, the uh, NVIDIA driver that was uh, that there's a, a hot fix for those that have a, a problem with the uh, the flickering issue of the um, of the uh, screen and uh, so what happened is that you know you have updates for gaming machines especially gaming display drivers quite often uh, they are more frequent than what you'll get on the average PC in general. So for the gamers, uh, the question, of course, that is, should I install all of these updates every time there's one? There are several things that these drivers do. First of all, if your PC runs really well and all your games work perfectly, um, no, I would not recommend that you do that all the time. And there's an example that just arrived, NVIDIA, the latest driver, had a bug, and some people uh, that use multiple screens actually start seeing flickering issues that wasn't there before. So it's not always a good idea to update drivers. And if you're a gamer particularly, it's very sensitive uh, for your games. So no, not necessarily, but it depends exactly what the display driver will do. If it fixes major bugs, of course, it fixes security issues. It's difficult not to update because security issues are the number one thing that you should always fix on the PC. But for the most part, I say that the majority of driver updates actually will affect only the um, latest games. It will add compatibility with some of the games that just came out. So when that happens, if you're not planning to play these games, you can actually skip a driver update. So, you know, I'm not going crazy with mine. I know that NVIDIA releases drivers quite often, but I don't go and install all of them every time I see there's one. I might install it if I see that it's for security reason, though. But most of the time, I'll just let it go, especially if all of my games work well, you know. Uh, leave it alone. Uh, I say it often, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As for the other drivers on your PC when you get updates, once again, um, some of them are done automatically, so you can actually have them done. But some of them are optional, and um, when it's optional, if your PC, once again, runs well, it's not necessarily a good idea to always be up to date with the latest drivers. It can actually backfire on you. It happened several times for me over the last uh, years, mostly more in the past than today, but you know, you never know when a driver could maybe cause another issue uh, while it's trying to fix something. So it's not something that has to be done. But if you do upgrade to a new operating system, often it's a good idea because if you don't, uh, often you'll have problems with the new operating systems because the older drivers were not meant to be used in the new Windows. So people that move from Windows 10 to Windows 11 might actually enjoy a more stable PC if they go get the latest drivers because they will be optimized for Windows 11. But um, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That is most often the rule for drivers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.